Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to today's video, video 57. My yarn adventures for the week. Well, it's Sunday here and I went to my Cairns Ravelry meeting this morning from about 10 till 12, um, which was fun. It wasn't fun getting there. I had a flat tyre. And um, yeah, nothing wrong with the flat tyre, except it's the second flat tyre this week. Talk about bad luck. No idea why. Anyway, went to the meeting, had a lot of fun. Um, I got some amigurumi crochet tips off Ulia because I have sausage fingers and I've been having real problems with it and one of the basic tips she showed me was duh, why didn't I think of that? Which is, when I do the magic ring, I close it and I try and get that first stitch in and I close it too tight. Anyway, and I was fortunate enough, which made my day, to get a really beautiful gift from Ulia. And I'll share it with you. For those of you who followed me for a while, you know I collect polar bears, ceramic polar bears. And she has given me a set of polar bears. There's Mama. I'll take him out of the bubble wrap. Baby number one. Can you see that? And cute baby number two. If you look up here behind my head, you can see the shelf of my polar bears I collect. I'll take it, see if I can take a photo of them all in the cupboard so you can get an idea of my collection. Ignore my messy craft corner back there. Um, one of those polar bears in there is worth about two and a half thousand Australian dollars. It was handmade by a Murano glass maker. It's a one-off made by a master. And it was on my trip to Italy. I got it as a gift. So, yeah, I got a beautiful gift after having a flat tyre. It was a great day. I love going to Ravelry. The ladies are lovely. Met some more nice ladies. So, that was my Sunday so far. And I thought I'd do a video. Um, which reminded me when I got the polar bears. And I thought I might have to have a second shelf. And to put these in there. I've don't know if I showed you the polar bears I bought when I went on my trip to Europe. So in St. Petersburg and Russia, everyone knows about the Fabergé eggs. And everyone buys Fabergé eggs. Well, this is my polar bear. He's a Fabergé polar bear. Opens up the trinkets. And I bought that one. And when I was in Bruges, we went past a street market come boot car sale. And there was this little fellow staring at me and I bought him. So they were my polar bears from my trip, in case I hadn't shown you. Yeah. So, what have I been up to yarn-wise? Well, first of all, I did finish some stuff off that I needed to do. I've been making beanies instead of a blanket for um, crochet for cancer this month. So this is a beanie I made with a Karen cupcake that I got in a, a yarn swap. Now, I haven't put the pom-pom on because I'm not sure they're allowed to be have like decorations on them for what they use them for. So that's an adult beanie I've made. And this one... Because I really was, I don't know, I was out shopping for this fundraiser for Doreen and I saw this yarn in what we call the reject shop, which is probably like the Dollar Tree. And I really liked it, so I bought it. It was only $2. It's knit and pearl, eight ply acrylic, which is a three weight. And um, I made a hat and it's quite a bit of, I don't think our yarns, yeah, there's 278 yards in the ball. Or 255 meters so both patterns are the same knitted and yes of course my favorite knitted pattern 
the Ross from the Smell Great guy. Smells like yarn. That's his pattern. I love it. It's an amazing pattern and it fits perfectly. So they're my two beanies I've made for this week. Another crochet tea towel topper for this um, charity store. So the plan is to make one or two a month, a uh, two a week, until we have it. <laughs> and I finished because I was three behind and I'd missed one again in the Unravel Mitten Cow. So this is, I think I can't remember what number, but it's called the Grit Stitch, and I finished it. And the reason it's got a white border is, by the time I finished the pink, I had that much yarn left and no more. And I didn't want to buy another ball. Um, I've done this stitch before in a baby blanket. I really like it actually and I've been tossing around an idea to make something using that stitch again. So that was my Unravel Mitten Square. So yes, I've been trying to get my Amagurumi on with my sausage fingers with not much luck. Um, what can I say? Thank you to everyone who gave me places and channels and patterns to look at so let's say i started with terry from yarn joy because i had been watching her podcasts and her little things but i thought they might be a bit small and when i checked out her channel and her things she had alien keychain pattern it's a crew pattern see those and i thought they were really cute so i started out well it started out as ter um, terry's pattern but it finished up being mine. I got lost somewhere and frustrated and just carried on. So that's my alien interpretation of hers, which now I've had a few tips. I might try making one of hers, but it's a free pattern and I'll put a link to it in the description below. That was my first keychain bag buddy amigurumi thing. My son likes it. There we go. Then I went to, that was, um, a lot of people recommend Terry. So thank you so much for that. Then I went across to Jada in Stitches. Someone had recommended her and I made, I, I think she says, she says it funny. It might be her Canadian. It's a chubby kitten. It's a basic pattern you can make into an owl or a kitten. And I made the kitten with his tail. I've got to get a ring for it. But that was my second attempt. Easy as because it was straight up and a lot of colour and I'm getting was getting better. So then I remembered I used to make these dangling things for babies, for friends. You know, you hang them on a piece of elastic type thing from the hangover, the cots. And they were octopus, but they weren't the preemie ones because I've made those that go to preemie babies. These were just a, a pattern I used to do. And I made another one. It's it. He's probably a little bit big for a backpack buddy, but this is my minion octopus or alien octopus. But yeah, he's a bit big. But anyway, I made him. This was one I could always do, probably because it was big. So then I got thinking because my son had talked to me about different aliens and I thought, well, I'll do a freestyle alien on my own. Terry's pattern in mine and I made this little guy his horns are dropping but anyway I hold him still can you see him so he was another attempt not sure you can see him real well he might be flaring a bit but yeah he was made over with scrap from the beanie Also, a lot of people, um, I think it, I've just got it written down here. What was she called? I think it's Holly Berry Crochet. I'll leave a link to this pattern. I wanted to make a cupcake and I made her cupcake. And this is where I kept going wrong. You can tell. My son it looks, said it looks like an iced bun. Not a cupcake. Or a patty cake as we call them. So, yeah. That was my attempt of Holly Berry's little thing. I really have discovered I've got sausage fingers and find it difficult to do little things. Ulia at um, Ravelry was making cupcakes and hers looked better than mine. 
but she does do a lot of little things. So that was my backpack buddies that I am still doing and experimenting with. Um, I'm going to try and make a little doll type one after talking to Uwe and I'm working out a few of the things to do with my fingers with fine stitching. So thank you once again for all your advice and help. Um, it was greatly appreciated and it seems that Yarn Joy Terry is very, very popular for her little things. Actually, while watching one of her videos, I came up with something else I might like to give a go when I've not got such a crafty thing on go, craft stall and what have you. Um, did I buy anything this week? Mm, yes, I did. I had to go and get buttons for my tea towel toppers that I've been making because I've run out of especially white buttons. And sometimes I buy jars of buttons from charity shops, but the ones I saw this week, because I did go charity shopping, didn't have white. So I bought these because Link Craft, our craft store, had 40% off and it made them a reasonable price. And while I was there, because there's 40% off, and you've got to check out the yarn, even if you don't need it. I discovered a new cotton I hadn't seen. And it's M-A-K-R is the name of the brown. Cotton 8 ply 3 weight. It's a 50 gram ball. And there are 100 metres. I just like the colour. And it was 40% off. So I thought I'll buy one and try it. It's quite soft. And it smells nice. So I'm going to give that a go. But that's new at Linkcraft. I don't know if they've ever had it before, but it's new to me. And because we went charity shopping for this big kitty fundraise of Christmas that Dorian's doing for Emma, looking for different stuff, of course, I'm going to check out what yarn they have. And I found a brand new ball of Carnival 8 ply for a dollar in black. This normally sells for about four dollars I think it's on special for just under three dollars at the moment but unused black ball doesn't smell no house smells so I bought it not that I use a lot of black because it's hard to crochet with but who can knock up walk past a ball of yarn brand new that doesn't smell for a dollar not me I bought it so basically that was it that was my week. I haven't done as much. I have started using my flower loom. Finally got around to making some of the circles that Llama Mama is doing on her mystery cow. I'll get my circles out. First I made this one. There's a reason for the stitch marker in the middle. And then I decided because the mystery project I'm going to be using these for would prefer some plain ones. I made some plain ones and I've got to finish this one off. They whip up really quick and they're handy to do when you're watching television. They're not that hard. So yes, I'm using my flower loom. Yay! And I'm waiting for the yarn to finish my son's blanket. I have decided the knitted blanket that I made the big mistake in and didn't put a lifeline in, um, which I haven't done very much of, even though it's long I've done about that much. It's getting frogged back to the beginning and I'll start again. I just can't rescue the big mistake I made. And that's the problem. It's such a complicated pattern. It's not one you can sit there and do and talk, which is what I did and I lost my way. So yes, I have my son's blanket to finish. I'm going to frog the other blanket. So with that in mind, and very little blankets on the go, I started a blanket for charity. And yeah, that's about this much. And I'll show you when I finished it. I may not get it finished by next week for a crochet for cancer, but I'll no doubt have it for the De um, December meeting. So guys, that's it. Nothing terribly exciting um, other than my flat tire, which was a bit colourful in the air when it happened on my way to my crochet group. <laughs> but it got fixed. No drama. Um, oh, yeah. And I made another treat jar. It's got treats in it. 
filtrate jar. I sold quite a few of these at the craft store for charity. So there you have it. Busy trying to get my amigurumi on. I look at all the stuff people make and think, oh, how amazing. But definitely, I think my arthritic sausage fingers aren't great at it. But maybe, what do they say? Practice makes perfect. I'll get better. So all my loyal subscribers, thanks for watching and keeping following me. Thanks for all the feedback. If you have any further comments on things you could, I could make for a charity store, for kids. That's the big thing. It's for kids. That's why it's Backpack Babies. And I've got to make 50 Christmas big cookies that they're going to, there's going to be a cookie decorating store the kids can go to. So yeah, please leave a comment if you can come up with an idea of something else I can make that kids will like at a charity store. If you're new to the channel, please check out my other videos, which reminds me, I got another Tea Cozy entrant in my Make Along, Make a Tea Cozy, which ends on November the 9th. So if you're still thinking about it, there's a bit of time to get your photos in. I got one from Janet. It's beautiful. I love the colours and I will put a photo of that at the end of this video. So that's three entries in my make along. Not huge, but at least someone is having a go. And surprise, surprise, week number two, I haven't made a tea cosy. But with Remembrance Day coming, no doubt I'll try and make one before then. Until next time, thanks for watching, take care of each other and have a crafty day. Bye for now.